My name is Dennis Leftrick. Uh, born and raised pretty much in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, my son Ben, his mom left when he was three, so me and Ian spent about 10 years facing the world alone, developed a pretty good bond. At 17, he wanted to go into the Army. I signed him in. Uh, he turned 20, seven days later, he was in Af or Iraq first and uh, came home. Could have stayed home, but he reclassed. Went with the unit that was going to Afghanistan, was gone for another year. I got him home in July of 2012. And uh, October 1st of that year, he took his life. And uh, as you would expect, I spiraled deep into a, a pretty dark abyss. God tried through a lot of people to pull me out and introduced me to some folks that had a little nonprofit called uh, Memories of Honor, or Medals of Honor at that time, now it's Memories of Honor. Uh, Jim and Amy Cotta have uh, managed in the last couple of years to lift me higher than anybody else ever has since this happened. Uh, I've done some 5Ks. Uh, prior to that, I'd done one half marathon in the mountains of Tennessee that about killed me. And Jim and Amy have been after me for a couple of years to come to Las Cruces to do the baton. This year I finally made it and they canceled the baton. As determined as we are to make lemonade out of lemons, as Amy said, uh, we did some mountain rucking. I wasn't heavy, but I had my kid with me. Uh, ben has been with me every day. I've got a pair of combat boots that a dear friend of mine ordered for me to fit. I've got his dog tag in the laces. I wear his dog tags around my neck every time I'm about to give up. All I gotta do is tap him and hear that. And I can hear him telling me, it's time to ruck up. So, I ruck up. It hurts. Uh, tomorrow my body will be very angry with me. Uh, came in Friday. Saturday we did about, according to my app on my phone, I did about seven miles. The trail was four up into a mountainside. Uh, Sunday we were blessed to be able to go to uh, White Sands Missile Range and with the garrison commander and some other folks and some amazing wounded warriors. We did seven miles of the Baton March. And today we were packing, getting ready to leave. And Amy said that they were gonna do another little, another little trail march before we left. Asked me if I was uh, down for it. My body said, hell no, but Ben's spirit in me said, sure. So we just knocked out another four miles in this beautiful countryside. Uh, I've met veterans along the way that have been in an abyss like mine through their own uh, tragedies. Uh, some of them have lost uh, friends and brothers to combat and to PTS. There's nothing of this world that is bigger than our God. He can get us through anything there is. Uh, I thank God for Amy and Jim, all the veterans I've met along the way, all the families of the fallen I've met along the way. A gentleman named Jeff that I just met coming off the trail because he had a beautiful dog who uh, tells us that told us that the, the dog saved his life because he was battling PTS when he got the dog. So God is good and you are never, ever alone. You got to reach out. There are so many groups that are out there to help us, veterans and non-veterans alike, live through the tragedy of loss, of injuries, and of the friggin' daily grind we go through. Sometimes it feels like the whole world's against us, but if you stop, just breathe and reach out somebody's there that understands and that will walk with you.
What was that experience for you whenever you were up on that high mountain trail Saturday? Between the walk Saturday and the walk yesterday and the walk today, I've left a lot of pain on these trails. I've uh, felt a boost in my spirit and a deeper love for those that have experienced loss than I ever thought I'd had before. To be able to walk in God's glory up here with others that, that understand this pain is such a healing thing. Little God winks throughout your life may not seem like much, but if you stop and count them up, life is amazing and you've got to live it to its fullest and its hardest. And you've got to embrace the suck when it hurts. My body's pissed and it'll be pissed tomorrow and I'm happy because I did something that was above me, that was beyond me. I did something with others for them. To be able to walk with those guys yesterday, one missing a limb, one missing an arm, and one gentleman in a wheelchair. To be able to walk with them was just amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I thank God and I thank my son for this weekend. And Amy, God bless you.